Hi guys, last couple of months we've been bombarded by uh, tons of negative news about coronavirus, travel ban, ban, travel ban, closing businesses, people are getting sick, dying, family get separated because of all this craziness in the world. On another side of the spectrum, Metropolitan Opera is doing live streaming of uh, famous opera. Sydney Chapel does virtual tours. Aloof Museum across the world are doing uh, everything what they can to bring us closer through such wonderful thing uh, like internet. With all this said, suddenly businesses started shifting more online. Look what happening. Stores are closing. Amazon expanding its operations. Look at restaurant business. More takeouts when restaurants are closed. So their online presence, it's very, very important. Look at real estate industry. Real estate agents are communicating with their clients and prospective clients through uh, live streams, again, through virtual calls and part of the business that always been like literally brick and mortar because you need to um, see your clients face to face suddenly went online. So is it good or bad? Hi, my name is Maria Serbina. I'm CEO of Influencer uh, Marketing Consulting Agency for people who don't know me. So going back, is it good or bad? I see it as a great opportunity to reshape and change your business. Yes, there are certain things that we cannot change. I cannot go and have virtual haircut or I can do my nails virtually. The same like I cannot get a massage, uh, uh, surgery, or, I, I, it, it's impossible. So in one way or another, we need human touch. But part of our businesses will be shifted to online industry. Like, for example, look what is going on right now. All live events or gatherings or gatherings are canceled. Look at Las Vegas. Entire city is that. And this is the capital of live events. So what happened? It affected not only participants of this live events, conferences, expos. It affected uh, event planning industry, wedding industry, speaking industry, coaching industry, and I can go on and on and on and on. So we can sit down and start crying about lost profits or uh, opportunities like in sense of uh, speaking or doing live trainings, or we can look at it and say, this is the time for unprecedented opportunity to reshape business, businesses, plural, and take them to a completely different level. Now, if we look at challenges, let's talk about challenges because now we are really facing challenges. Internet space is very crowded. As of today, we have more than 1 billion, capital B, websites. So that's the challenge itself. So how we as a business owners and entrepreneurs can get to the top of Google charts? This is question number one. Question number two. How to create your expert and celebrity status that actually makes our prospective clients and even recent clients and customers pick us over our competitors? That's question number two. And the last question, how we can command higher fees without actually producing service uh, like live service. And now I'm talking about real estate business, speaking business, coaches, trainers, because we are get paid by 
our physical presence. So what we can do to actually make money in this virtual reality. Guys, I want to read you two very interesting quotes that I, I use in my business because it puts lots of things in perspective. There is such thing as Deep's Law of Distribution. And what it states, when there is information overload, people will choose the one on the top or the perceived leader or expert. And another one is very, very interesting. And it's what I call Oprah effect. Expensive power and influence of the celebrity personality creates popularity of the person or product to the point of frenzy. Now think about that for a minute. In virtual space, suddenly it becomes an essential thing. So first you have to be visible because visibility is a really bloodline to your business. If you don't have visibility at a certain point, your business will be dead because you won't have any clients or customers. And this is first. And second, even if you have this exposure and visibility and findability, why your prospective clients and customers have to choose you? And the answer is they will choose you based on your expert and celebrity status. I think it's very, very significant. So it's not just being findable online. It's also who you are as an expert because you want to be one and only for your clients and customers. Now, let's go with practical steps. What you can do right now, right away. And I will read to you because I have my notes. And obviously, I closed some of my notes. Give me one second. And uh, I will read you because it's kind of hard to... Okay, let's do this. Step number one, you have to assess your current reality. And I'm not talking about crazy reality, what is going on. You quite aware about that. You have to assess your current business reality. Review your online visibility, findability, current product or services, revenue and profits. And one of them, look at your website, for example, and check if your website doing its job what it's supposed to do and it could be lead generation lead conversion something like that step number two look at your target audience review your ideal clients for for example if you're a speaker for your speaking gigs if you're selling product services for your products and services step number three Check and make the list of your publicity and celebrity assets. Review your current publicity celebrity uh, strategies and assets what are available. Check your name. Check what will go uh, come up online when you check your business or your personal name, like if you're a speaker, obviously. Step number four. Look at all your marketing strategies. Review your marketing strategies and assets available. Check your social media. What social media does for you? Does it bring, again, your exposure? Check what happening there. Because even though people say, you know, like uh, likes and uh, shares are not so important. Yes, they are. If you use them right way. And step number five. Guys, schedule free growth consultation with us. And this is free because we will help you separate what you have, what you don't have, and what you need to grow your business now. What you have to have in place to succeed in two, three months when the craziness will be over and when everyone will wake up 
and say, oh, now I can start working on this. You will be way ahead. Use this opportunity. Use this uh, unexpected, inspired, runaway solitude to reshape your business. So one more time, I'm repeating all the steps. Step number one, check your current reality, assess your current reality, put everything on the list, Excel spreadsheet. Uh, assess your target audience. Is it right target audience? Review for your, for example, speaking product services. Step number two, review your current publicity and celebrity status. Check all your assets. Again, make the list. Your marketing strategies, how you market your business. And step number five, schedule an appointment with us because we'll help you to move forward. And also, if for some reason we don't have something in our arsenal, we will tell you or uh, help you to find someone who will be perfect fit for you and your business. So guys, this is it for, for now. I hope you got my message. Please don't stay still. Start moving forward because all this stuff will be over and we'll all better off. Yes, sometimes it's just growing pains and stuff like that, but still don't be consumed with this situation. Start working on your business breathe and i guess i will see you on on um business girl school guys after i was done with recording this video um i went on facebook because i wanted to uh actually post the video in the blog post right there and i saw very very interesting post or virtual speaking opportunity on Facebook in one of the groups and it's the group for global speakers speakers radio show hosts authors publishers and etc this is just proves my point I will read it to you and you be the judge anyway virtual speaking opportunity looking for a few people to join me on the panel then there is a date and um, what it says. We have 1,000 attendees via Zoom and several thousands via Facebook live stream. So we are looking for those who are at least one of the following. A popular TED talk, a well-known speaker, an influencer with 100K plus social media reach. This is proves my point that visibility, findability, your celebrity and expert status is absolutely crucial in today's economy in business.